Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have yet another haul. This time it's going to be a super tropical, yummy spring summer haul. A lot of fragrances that I've been wanting to get into my collection and some really unexpected ones that made it. And I'm so, so excited to share them with you. If you want to know which fragrances they are and how I feel about them, don't go anywhere. Out of everything I'm going to be sharing today, two of them have been sent to me in PR and I want to start with the very first one I receive in PR. It's not necessarily necessarily a fragrance but let me just tell you I was so excited when I received this box a lot of you have already heard about this brand and I have heard as well about them but I was just so excited to hear about their brand and just discover them and when they reached out and say we would like for you to discover you know our brand and see how you feel I was just so over the moon and this is skin potion I had to keep it this way just so that I can show you the gorgeousness when you receive this magnetic box how I was like how am I gonna share this without having like a top shown and the packaging it is just incredible so let's just talk about that for a little bit uh, obviously they send you a little bit of a card if you know if you don't know about skin potion they make beautiful body care lotions butters body oils with incredible fragrances everything is very natural it is gorgeous but i'm gonna get into that in a minute so in this beautiful amazing bag i got the kama sutra collection which I have heard so much about it. I have heard so many channels talk about this and I was so, so curious and you know, they spoke amazing things about it. So in here, I'm just going to show you real quick and then we're going to talk about the scent profile because everything smells the same is within the same collection. So look how beautiful it comes packaged. All of these little colorful little things are rose, bu rose butts because obviously the scent has rose inside it. And as soon as you open the box, it just smells so amazing. Like it's so fragrant and obviously I'm here for it. So it starts with in here we have the scrub, the body butter, the lotion, a cleansing bar which is a little bit exfoliating and the body oil which i've heard so much about i'm going to show you everything individually but i'm going to have to put this box down because if not i'm not going to be able to show you individually what it looks like so uh here is look at this situation look at this cuteness oh my god can i even so this is the sugar scrub obviously and then you would have your little spoon that you can pick it up from this looks amazing in your bath if you have like a little station then after that we have the cleansing soap which in the back you can see that it has i don't know if you if you guys have seen these little things i'm going to try to put a photo over here i know it's not very common in this day and age for people to use this for bathing but back back in the day i remember when i was little my mom used to use these for exfoliating so when you would take a shower you would use that to exfoliate we didn't have these fancy exfoliators back in the day it was like you use your soap and you use something like this which this is definitely very natural it comes from the sea and what they did is that they cut a little bit and they included it in the bar of soap they melted it in so as you're showering it's like a two-in-one situation oh my god this is so good then after that we have this is considered a body cream but it's super liquidy i don't know if you can see it i don't know if you can hear it it's super 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 liquidy so this is great i've been having you know wanting this in my purse and then we have la creme de la creme of everything look at this body oil this situation with the rose buds inside gorgeous bottle super tight tight cap which I love because anything that has oil, anything is related with oil, you don't want anything to be super difficult to close because unfortunately, you know, it's it just, it'll spill everywhere with a beautiful pump. We're gonna talk about that in a little second. And then we also have the organic triple buddy butter also within the same scent and i if, if you see that it's a little bit frosty is because i keep mine in the fridge i noticed that after having it out for like a day it started melting obviously these are all natural ingredients so it's just let me just show you what it looks like obviously it's solidified it's not but if you leave it outside it'll definitely become very very liquidy and the oils are just this is moisturizing af i mean i don't have any other any other way of saying it 
Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They were not lying when they were talking about how incredible these products smell. So I'm gonna try to show you on their website what the ingredients are like and everything that they have. It is just so, so gorgeous. You have, I mean, you get in here and I heard that this is a new scent, cookie butter, but let's take a look at the actual ingredients. So, oh my God. So the actual notes for this collection are fresh Bulgarian rose petals, dancing in amber, angerwood winds into the climatic lake of papaya, lychee, and mango nectars. If that does not sound like heavenly heavens, I don't know what is. And look at all these natural ingredients. We got cold organic shea butter, we got organic cocoa butter, organic mango butter, organic coconut oil, organic hemp seed oil, everything is organic, golden jojoba oil, avocado oil, aloe vera, we got virgin organic pomegranate seed oil, all kinds of goodness for your body and your skin to nourish the skin and just give you the most amazing glow. When I tell you the most amazing glow is the most amazing glow, I absolutely love how moisturizing these products are to me. I'm a big freak of like having body lotions. I have to have lipstick, chopstick, body uh, hand lotion, just everything to moisturize myself at all times, everywhere I go. I don't know if it's because I don't drink enough water, maybe I should, but just if we look a little bit more into what their brand is, does it, all of this looks so amazing. Again, I have seen a lot of companies come and go with anything related with body care and body butter and I've purchased expensive creams and lotions and nothing really gives you a longevity like nothing really gives you a 10 out of 10 everywhere like we're talking longevity super moisturizing a fragrant to me because obviously having a perfume channel you know we love fragrance something that is very fragrant for a long period of time not like you wear something because i've had some lotions that you put it on and yeah it smells great it smells really good but at five minutes later it's completely gone this stays with you stays 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 with you all of it looks edible to me my god they have cleansings they have anything for the bath moisturize skin anyways you can book a facial really i guess so they i guess they have locations i have to look a little bit more into that but oh my goodness but let's just speak for a second what does this smell like so obviously we heard it has a bulgarian rose and there's amberwood and there's you know a little bit of fruits and all of that but i tell you let me just show you a little bit i just squirted a little bit of the oil disregard this burn i just burned my hair as i was doing my hair because you know the things we do to be on youtube anyways look at this shine look at this shine it is so 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 a moisturizer but it feels like a dry oil it moisturizes and it gives you shine like you know a regular oil but at the same time it feels dry it feels like you're not going to feel like a grease ball do we have any Delina exclusive fans in the house? Because if we do, which I'm sure we do, you're going to want to get your hands on Kama Sutra by Skin Potion. Oh my God. And the name, I absolutely love it. Skin Potion. Like they could not have picked a better name. Thank you so, so much to the team at Skin Potion for sending me this beautiful care package and allowing me to discover these products. I absolutely love them. This smells like the most romantic, beautiful rose. It's very similar, very, very, very similar to the Lina Exclusive. And I don't know if anybody has thought that way about these products how they smell or that scent profile but i absolutely love it you know that delina is one of my ogs but not delina the regular delina exclusive so so beautiful and what i love about it is that because these products are so well fragrant they are amazing for layering and you know i love me some layering so definitely when i want that scent profile to be combined with another fragrance this definitely this is to another level like you guys at skin potion if you're watching this video quadruple thumbs up this is just gorgeous 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 guys do not walk run 
to try this. And if you have tried it, let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts? Do you think it smells like Delina exclusive? What are your thoughts on the longevity? What are your thoughts on the performance? I love the body butter is one of my favorite, the oil, I absolutely love it. I mean, the body lotion, I have it in my purse. I just, I haven't tried the, the scrub and the cleansing bar just yet but I'm waiting to do like a beautiful bubble bath and just like make it all like a Kama Sutra day. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. Well, once again, this was Kama Sutra by Skin Potion. I can't, I can't. This is so, so good. I absolutely love it. Anyways, let's continue, shall we? Uh, let's, I'm gonna go right away to another one that was sent to me so that we get those two out of the way and everything else was purchased with my own coin. The very next one is the very much anticipated Juliet Has a Gun Lust for Sun. This was sent to me by Twisted Lily. I was so excited for this fragrance and let's just talk about the scent profile. I don't even need to spray it because that's how strong it is. So this is the first thing I'm going to tell you. This fragrance has incredible, incredible longevity. So present. This fragrance is one of the few summer fragrances that announces you before you get there. It definitely has really good performance. Contrary to some of the recent launches that they have had, have not had the best performances, unfortunately, but Lust for Sun is amazing. This is a beautiful citrus, white floral, amber, coconut with a tiny touch of lactonic. This is very tropical. The way this bottle looks with like this sunset situation and it's just, fruity and floral. It has a touch of coconut, but it's mainly coconut water. So it's very refreshing and it opens up with bergamot. So, you know, it makes it just very fresh, but then the tropical florals, they just walk in and they just become super, super present. This also has ambroxan, which I believe is the reason why this fragrance has such great longevity. It has also a touch of musk with vanilla. It's such a tropical but creamy fragrance that I feel this says Hawaii all over it. Like when I smell this, I smell Hawaii. That's what I feel in my mind. That's what it comes across. So here's what the bottle looks like. It's a beautiful gradient. On the notes, we have bergamot, coconut, freesia. Middle notes, we have ylang ylang, gardenia jasmine, orange blossom. On the base notes, we have ambroxan, white musk, and vanilla. This is an amazing fragrance for summer. I think this is gonna be really, really good for the summertime. Anybody that loves ylang ylang, this doesn't necessarily have tiara flower, but it smells a little bit like the composition of coconut, ylang ylang, and tiara flower. Like that trio, that's a little bit what you're getting with this. It's so, so good. I am so happy. They did so good with this fragrance. I, I am excited to wear it. And I feel like a tropical goddess every time I smell this but in the floral realm, not in the fruity, not in the coconut, not in that realm, in the realm of like florals. That's why I think of Hawaii, because I think of like, you know, the flowers and all of those beautiful Hawaiian, tropical, uh, Indonesia, like all of that area, French Polynesia, all of that area, that this is what this fragrance reminds me of. Oh, I absolutely love it. And it's still very fresh, but it's definitely very tropical floral form. And don't forget that I'm a Twisted Lady ambassador and you can always support the channel by shopping the links below. You can always save an extra 10%. The code would be listed. Once again, Juliet has a gun, lust for sun. Up next, we're continuing with the tropical. I mean, everything in this haul is tropical and exciting and summertime fragrances. This is a brand new release and I'm so excited to have it in my collection. This is Jimmy Choo Rose Passion. This is such a fun, beautiful bottle, but let's just get into what the, oh my God, this fragrance smells like, this is just, you know, it stops you dead in your tracks because these fragrances are smelling so good. When I saw that this fragrance was gonna get released and I saw what the notes were going to smell like, I was like, oh my God, this sounds like it was gonna be really, really good. And I haven't had a Jimmy Choo in my collection in a long time because when Jimmy Choo came out, the very first iteration of these type of bottles, I, became obsessed with it and I had everything from the house from the lotion to the perfume and the pop purse one and all of that and I wore it for years and years and years until I got sick of it and then every other flanker that came out I was like I don't want anything to do with it I was just somewhere else I just it was I got sick of it but when this one came out and I saw the nose I was like oh this is gonna be different this is gonna be different this is again tropical floral the coconut is a lot more present here it's a little bit lactonic 
it has a touch of woodiness very much in the background just giving it a little bit more like grown-up vibes not necessarily like body splash vibes so so good a little bit powdery but mm. And I'm smelling the Kama Sutra plus this together. Hmm, that tells me that that's going to be a really good layering combo. Oh my God, this smells so good. So what do we have? Let me show you the bottle and I'll tell you a little bit about the notes. We got frangipani and jasmine at the top. Then we have coconut milk and orchid in the mid notes, vanilla and sandalwood in the base. So it's a beautiful, it's like a gradient. It goes from hot pink to clear to hot pink again. So again, as you saw, frangipani, coconut milk, vanilla, sandalwood, between the coconut milk and the sandalwood makes this fragrance so, so creamy. The jasmine and the orchid doesn't make it go extremely tropical, but at the same time, the frangipani, which is a very potent flower, like frangipani, I feel that is one of the most dominant tropical flowers that is very, very pungent when it's in a perfume unless it's accompanied by other different notes that is grounded down a little bit i feel like i would have want to see something fresh in here like probably like an added bergamot or you know something like that just to make it a little bit citrusy but that tells me I'm, I'm thinking that if i would like this fragrance to have that then probably it would be great to layer with a citrus fragrance but nonetheless this on its own is gorgeous the coconut milk here is coconut milk creamy creamy Creamy, creamy this is so good they knocked it out of the part i think it's gonna be a beautiful favorite for the summertime and once again rose passion by jimmy Choo. you know what i just thought about it's so funny that uh jimmy Choo is called rose passion and there's no rose anyways up next we have another fragrance that i've been wanting to have in my collection for quite some time since it came out i wanted to add it because i have the og and this is a flanker but it was just not really easy to find I'm going to leave you in the links below where I got it from. And I'm referring to Lalique Soleil Vibrant. This bottle. My goodness. So if you know, I have the OG, which is right over here. And this is one of, the, I'm not even going to, you know, fake it. This is a perfume that I got blindly because of the bottle. I had no idea what it was going to smell like. And in the many times that I've been wanting to declutter it, I keep it because of the bottle. Because it's just so, so gorgeous. But... I love the fragrance. It's just that after a while, when you start having a lot of fragrances and you're like, well, let me see what I haven't, you know, paid attention to too much lately. And I don't wear it very often. As you can see, my dent is not too, too big, but I just can't get rid of this fragrance. And then this came out and I was like, oh, okay, forget it. I need to have the baby sister because, or the big sister. I don't know exactly what that's going to be. So as you already know, these fragrances come with jewels. The OG came with a bracelet and Ensole Vibrant came with a necklace. So it's just, I put it just around the, you know, the bottle because what else am I going to do with it? So it's pretty cute. You know, you can actually wear it. It's not, it's not bad whatsoever. Like this is what it looks like, right? It's kind of cute. I would wear it. As a matter of fact, let's wear it right away. Why not? Why not? Anyways, this fragrance is a fragrance that I was like, I need to know what this is going to be because the notes were a little bit different. I mean, you see, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. I don't know how much you know how resistant it is if you can wet it or anything like that but anyways this situation over here obsessed is the word obsessed when i tell you obsessed obsessed i am just obsessed obsessed this fragrance to me is better than the og it's just it's different but it's a little bit better oh, i absolutely love it this is vanilla and sweet and creamy and it almost feels like it has a little bit of ginger but it's also very fresh, it's very powdery. It feels like a powdery, cocooning fragrance, which gives me the impression of this sunset because usually it seems like, you know, the sun is setting with the color gradient of this fragrance and this would smell like skin at the sunset. This is definitely some, you know, you can wear it any time of the day, but if I would have to like wear, I would wear this during the day and I would wear this in the evening time. The regular uh, La Lique Soleil is a little bit more fresh. This is a little bit more creamy. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm gonna tell you in a bit exactly how much they are alive. I'm gonna show you a little bit the bottle as I tell you about these notes. So on the opening, we got clementine, pear, ginger, bergamot. Middle notes, we got orange blossom, jasmine, sandbag, and saffron. On the base notes, we have bourbon, vanilla, dreamwood, and cedar. So did you hear that? We got pear, we got ginger, we got orange blossom, saffron, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, 
making it a little boozy, a little, you know, deep. There's something behind it. This is so good. Now let's see the difference between this one and the OG because I know that some of you are gonna be curious. The OG is a little bit fresh, it's bright, it's exciting. I would see a spring, summer day ideal fragrance to go and have brunch and breakfast and run errands and meet up with the girls, even a day date. It's very, it's a lot more freshy, aquatic versus Soleil Vibrant is deeper not too deep it's not like a winter fragrance it's not like a autumn fragrance but it's still creamier mm. i absolutely love this combo of pear ginger bourbon vanilla and saffron and you hear those notes and you're like i could not wear that during the spring summer days when it's hot i mean i don't say that this is going to be a fragrance that you could wear you know when it's like in the three digits no not necessarily but if it's a little bit breezy so good La Lique Soleil is definitely a lot more fresh. It's a lot more daytime, it's a lot less serious, it's a lot more playful. This is just creamy. It's creamy, it's, it has a seduction aspect to it. It has, it has a little something, something else. So you could have both and it wouldn't feel redundant. They don't feel like they smell from each other. I don't smell this and I'm like, okay, this is a La Lique Soleil. No, I would never. I don't feel like it gives you that impression. But as I was smelling as soon as I got this fragrance, because I had to go through a lot to get this fragrance, I ordered it first from Neiman Marcus and they sent me the 50 ml and I didn't want the 50 ml. Then I had to order it, I believe, from Europe because I couldn't find it here. Anyways, it was a whole deal. But I wanted the 100 ml because I wanted my two soleils to match, you know? It's, it's important, <laughs> these things. Anyhow, I'm smelling this fragrance and I'm like, I have something in my collection that smells like this. There's something that I already know that smells like this and I don't know what it is. And I was just like, I was so curious because even on my skin, it develops the same way. I'm like, I'm just gonna sit down in front of all of my fragrances and smell and look until I find what I think is what this fragrance smells a little bit like. If I was told that this was a flanker of that fragrance, I would believe it. They don't smell the same, but they could be flankers. And it's another fragrance that I absolutely love, which I wasn't surprised. So if you like Ruby Red by House of Oud, you're gonna love Soleil Vibrant by Lalique. These two little babies are in the same family. And I think it's the ginger. The way the ginger is done here is similar to the way ginger is done over here. And I don't know if it's the combination of the ginger pear saffron that you know gives you the vibe of uh, ruby red gives you, but they are very similar. So one day I just put one on each arm just to make sure that they were the same. When I sprayed it, that's when I realized that they're not the same. They're similar. They could be flankers of each other, but they're not the same whatsoever. So if you have been curious about this or this is out of your price range, you might enjoy this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I absolutely love it. I am just obsessed. So this is going to be my cozy summer fragrance. I feel that, oh my God, I don't even want to, I don't want to think about this fragrance like just getting low on me because I, I love it. I would repurchase this and not necessarily this. But since I already have it and since they look so beautiful in my perfume display, I needed to have both of them the same size. I absolutely love it. This is so good. Highly recommended. Once again, Soleil Vibrant by Lique. The next fragrance is a fragrance. You know, I'm getting excited and I feel like every fragrance that comes along, I am just like overly excited. And you're probably thinking, okay, calm down. They can't all be that great. But let me just tell you, I do a lot of homework before I bring a fragrance into my collection. Whether it is I investigate the notes, I get what I already have that could be similar, or I buy decants before I actually invest into the bottle just to make sure because I've already had so many blind buys that are absolutely a no-no. And not only I'm trying to dictate whether the fragrance is good or bad, but I'm also trying to discern whether it is a fragrance that is already very similar to something that I already have in my collection and I don't want to have any repeats. I'm running out of space, I'm running out of room, I've already like changed my storage situation like three times and I can't continue to do more. So everything has to be very special, very particular, and I just 
you know so when you see me excited it's because they are 100 worth it to be excited well this one i had to do a lot of homework to be able to get it when i saw the promo the promo looked good but it also looked like oh it can't be that good and it's unfortunately i'm sad to talk about it it's sold out pretty much everywhere i haven't been able to find another bottle because i need a backup like yesterday but my name is on the list and i'm waiting and i'm gonna give you all the details below what you can do and how you can you know get your name on the list so as soon as it's available i highly suggest you go get it and this is fleur de lait by miu miu guys this has to be the best coconut i smell to date and you know how much i love my coconut i did a huge video about coconuts if you haven't seen it you're new to the community and you like coconuts as well then i am going to leave you know the video uh down in the cards and uh, up below you can enjoy it's a very long video and it took me my nose was tired even then there wasn't a coconut like this one this fragrance is the queen of all queens it's so powerful i don't even need to spray it this is tropical fruity coconut creamy pungent thick like exactly the way i want it because if i i wanted a coconut that i could i could feel like i'm eating it and there is another coconut that i ordered and i haven't been able to get my hands on it because there has been all kinds of like custom issues i'm gonna put the photo over here i don't remember the name right now it's a bottle that is white with green and all of that so whenever that's resolved that's also coming into the collection the same way i'm always looking for my perfect vanilla i'm always looking for the perfect coconut because it's one of the notes that i love the most and even though I have a lot of coconuts, I'm always in the search for a new, better, why not? This is so, so good. This is like smelling a dessert. Just gonna spray it just because, you know, we need to give it a good. This bottle is so cute. I've never had a Mio Mio fragrance. And I don't know if the other ones are good. But what I do know is that this one has been getting a lot of hype lately. And it's sold out everywhere. Even their actual boutiques, their actual customer service centers, like they can't it's not anywhere if you know a place let me know because i want another bottle i could cry this is so good oh my god this is so good this is tropical creamy it's like a dessert and that's exactly what they did in their promo they you know, they make this bottle into a cake that when you cut it there's mango dripping through like liquid mango so there's the coconut and the mango together and it's just the most amazing tropical obviously this is more of a daytime this is not like a going out this is not like a freshie this is not this is like when you're looking for something tropical creamy thick almost gourmand like a gourmand version of your summertime fragrances and i feel that not all the notes have been disclosed so let me just show you a little bit what the bottle looks like as i in real life this is not mint it's actually baby blue maybe the colors are not working out too well with the camera they're not coming the notes are three notes which is why i really doubt that these are the only notes mango on the top notes osmanthus on the middle notes and coconut milk on the base no there's more than that here <sighs> i could just eat this i could just eat this i know that a lot of people were able to get their hands on this and i'd love to know your thoughts i'd love to know if you had the opportunity to smell it i'd love to know if you are on the waiting list as i am again i am already my god you can't see it but i'm already at least over here of how much i have uh, layered this fragrance and just one of the layer combos that i did with this that if you have it you have to go try right away i just i was gonna keep it for another layering video but i can't contain myself i have to share it with you guys layer this with yum pistachio it, it made me lose concentration i did it while i was working here at home and i was like i couldn't even work i was just like concentrated on how amazing this to smell but anyways back to this this is the most amazing mango creamy coconut deliciousness there's nothing bad about it and even though it has osmantos which i don't like osmantos i don't smell it whatsoever zero zero and there is a touch of like floral a touch of a touch touch of floral but it doesn't smell like it's coming from osmantos gorgeous 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 anyways i'm not gonna beat a dead horse once again fleur de lait by miu miu up next we continue the tropical paradise vacation this next fragrance is the next two fragrances are fragrances that i've been wanting in my collection for quite some time but i had 
a lot of doubt because I had not smelled them. I just saw the notes and I actually got myself a good amount of decants from different from the line and I'm going to do a dedicated review. I'm referring about the house of Simone Andrioli and this is Sun Lotion. This bottle guys this fragrance i mean i'm already i'm already i'm already you know doing doing the most with this fragrance this is another beautiful tropical fruity goodness situation that so this is very different than fleur de lait this is very bright and light and it's very refreshing this is very much a daytime i could see this being a vacation fragrance i can see this being worn obviously in the summertime is a lot easier to digest when the heat is really high but it's very fruity it's tropical fruity it's like tropical fruity squared like so so potent i absolutely love it so this is a combination of mango and guava which are some of my favorite tropical fruits I remember when I was little, I used to eat green guava with salt. Like when you live in the tropics and you're a kid, you have these concoctions that you make. I used to eat green mango with lemon and salt besides eating the guava sweet and juices, but we would also eat from the tree, like the green, but it has to be really green. It can't just be like, it, it, it cannot have any touch of sweetness. So it has to be way before it's ready. But yeah, guava with salt, amazing. And like mango with lemon and salt, so good. Oh my God, this brings back so many good memories. It also has lime and coconut water it is just so good. And I love how big these bottles are. So once again, this is what it looks like. The notes in the top in the opening is gua mango, guava, coconut water, lime, it has in the base white sandalwood and hibiscus so longevity is pretty good i would say a good five six hours you know then after that you know any f summer fragrance doesn't necessarily last like the winter ones unfortunately so it's so it is to be expected the next one is a little bit more powerful the next one has longer longevity but anyways i absolutely love it it's very refreshing the coconut water the hibiscus just gives it that you know refreshing exciting oh this is gonna be so good this summer i absolutely love it and i am so excited to finally have it some lotion by simona drilli up next we have another floral fruity gourmand that is also very ideal for the spring and summertime from the same house simona drilli and this is pacific park guys this is good good so so good let me see okay right i'm not 100 percent sure that i haven't used this one i just wanna i took a new one so this is also very appropriate for the springtime very appropriate for the summertime but this is a little bit more i don't want to say elevated this just feels a little bit more like if i need something dressier like some lotion is not necessarily something like really dressy like this i would wear it at night if i'm wearing something very casual but if i want something just a tad bit dressier not necessarily super dressy but like a tad bit dressier this is where pacific park you know falls falls in this is fruity is sweet it has cotton candy it has pear it has black currant fruity notes oh my goodness and the longevity is better than sun lotion pacific park definitely um gives me a little bit more in terms of projection in terms of longevity if i want to get the same amount of projection and longevity with sun lotion i would have to spray a little bit more and i don't have to do so much with pacific park out of all of them this was my favorite this is very much in the realm they don't smell anything i like but let's just say you like tabid by tiziana terenzi or erba pura or kirke within that family let's just say distant distant cousins this is where pacific park is kind of like landing if all of those fragrances were a little bit too pungent and you wanted something softer then pacific park is the one that you would want to give a try this is gorgeous very similar the bottle these bottles are so classic these are so so gorgeous in a vanity and these are 100 ml i believe are they 100 or more yeah they are 100 ml but they are just so so classic and so on the notes we got pear black currant mandarin orange fruity notes cotton candy lily of the valley on the base notes we have caramel white musk and vanilla so i feel that you know they may look a little bit masculine these bottles just a tiny bit but i still love how classy and they just look very classic I, I i love these bottles so did you hear those notes we're talking 
pear, blackberry, fruity notes, cotton candy, caramel, vanilla. It's yummy. It's a good fruity. So if you are looking for a sophisticated fruity that you want to layer your fragrances with, I think that this one would be a really, really good one. I was thinking to add, out of the Kealis, I don't have uh, Eden a Juicy Apple in my collection because when I bought it, which if you've been with me for any length of time, you probably have seen that I made a, a review about that fragrance. And I just, I returned them because it, it was great, but it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But now... I'm like, okay, this would be great for layering. So I was gonna get it for layering, but then now that I have this one, I think this is a way better fruity than Eden Juicy Apple one. And you know, they're about the same price. So, so, so good. This is a different, this is sophisticated. It's a fruity, floral, sophisticated. Absolutely, absolutely love it. So once again, this was Pacific Park by Simone Andreoli. Before we jump into the last fragrance, I wanted to just let you know, guys, that we are approaching 10K and I am just so excited. And like every time I reach a milestone, I have a giveaway. So this time around is gonna be a gift card for Sephora of $100. So be sure to be subscribed to be eligible for this giveaway. Did you know that YouTube tells me that 55% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed? What are you doing? If you like the content, if you like the fragrances that I bring you every week, join the Santa Tribe. is 100% free. Just click that red button below and become a part of the Santa Tribe. Just subscribe. It really helps me a lot and allows me to really know that you guys are interested in what I'm doing. Having a channel is not easy. Yes, I love perfumes, but I wouldn't buy perfumes on a regular basis at the speed that I do if it wouldn't be to bring you you know content so in return if you can let me know that you enjoy what i do by subscribing giving me a like letting me know in the comments what you liked about the video it really encourages me and allows me to continue to move forward and bring you more content so i really appreciate all the ones that are subscribed let's take a look at the last fragrance of the haul the next fragrance is my sexy summer fragrance i was looking for that sexy summer fragrance and there was one that has been getting so much hype for quite quite some time on the platform and I was like could that be the one I need to try it and I couldn't find a way to try it before to buy so I just blind bought it and I just crossed my fingers and hope for the best and thank god it worked out I absolutely love it God of Fire by Stefan Lucas 777 I absolutely love this fragrance this fragrance has been getting so much hype on the platform it has everybody is in love with it and i was like what am i missing and i don't want to be out of the loop i definitely need to try it but i didn't know it was going to be i thought that this was going to smell probably like sun plotion like a very tropical you know fruity because that's the way it was often described in every video that i was watching but this is not what i get to me this is a beautiful amber woody very sexy very tropical it's a tropical amber woody Mm, wow this is something and i'm so happy that i like it i was so nervous guys when i tell you nervous because this fragrance is you know it's a little pricey so you know to blind buy again i have done a lot of blind buying in that price range and it has not gone very well but oh my goodness and also another thing i'm having such a hard time spending a lot of money i don't mind spending four or five hundred dollars on a fragrance but give me a bottle this size like look at this situation it's just anyways let's get back to what this fragrance smells like so got a fire i would say it's 100 percent unisex it's fruity tropical but you smell that there is a depth in it there is either a patchouli or woody or saffron there's something very grounding in this fragrance it's a little bit citrusy it's tropical and fruity but you don't feel that it's super sweet it's not like dessert sweet it's not you know fleur de lait sweet this is because it's so unisex definitely they didn't make it super sweet you do smell the mango in this fragrance so gorgeous it's hard to explain the citrus is very predominant in the blotter but on my skin not so much it's very zesty because it has lemon and ginger again 
on the blotter is a little bit more citrusy on my skin not so much on my skin it comes across a little bit more the mango and the berries so so gorgeous this is a dressy fragrance i would not wear this fragrance on the three digit degree weather at noon going to disney this is not the fragrance for this this is your sexy date night summer fragrance that you would wear so if you want something that is as elegant as one of those iconic winter fall winter fragrance but for the summertime this is sexy dress date night this is i want to be sexy but still fun and tropical and you know with a touch of like lightness mm. let me just show you a little bit the bottle i'm gonna try to see if i can just put it in a way that it doesn't blind you so the notes at the top we got mango lemon ginger red berries and then on the bait on the middle notes we got woody notes coumarin jasmine on the base notes we have musk amber oud and cypress oil so what i was smelling was the oud the oud is was grounding this fragrance a lot mm, this is really good really really good this is sexy this is good i'm curious to know what this would smell on a man it would have to be a very particular type of guy wearing this fragrance but definitely i absolutely love my, this turquoise bottle i love it the little jewels in the snake eyes is just i'm really curious about this house and i'm gonna try to see if they have a discovery set or something like that so that i can definitely discover more but god of fire is absolutely fire <laughs> i love it I, I to me is is great it's the best i don't have anything for summer in my collection like this and, and and that's exactly what i was saying guys like at this point i'm over 200 plus fragrances in my collection you know it has to be different in order to come in it can't just be another fruity floral that you know might be just a tiny bit different than anything else it has to be very special very different and in order for me to be able to bring it in and i feel that the more i go then the harder it's going to be because you know how many scent profiles are there out there this is good good this is amazing and i highly recommend for the summertime if you're looking for that sexy fragrance that is mango but at the same time is a little bit of oud but it's a good oud it's very clean it's very sexy it gives you a longevity like no other it's awesome got a fire by stefan lucas and we have made it to the end thank you so much for joining me in this tropical spring summer haul i'm so excited to have these fragrances in my collection i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below do you have any of these were you curious about any of these so if you like this list please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to be eligible to enter in the 10k giveaway until the very next time my lovely big kiss 